this week. You know, I burn the candle at both ends. I run hard, amen? I, I love it, and that's how I want to be. Wednesday I got up, I, I poured some concrete, I worked all day. Uh, I had to do some stuff with meetings. Uh, Four o'clock, Jim called me and said, it's time to go to church. We go to Tunnel Basin. Jim usually goes with me so I don't fall asleep. And, and, and we drive up there. I'm wore out. I'm tired. I preach my guts out. Everybody there was tired. It was hot up there. and Everybody was like, you know, sluggish. Preached really hard, trying to motivate them, get them excited. We got done. We get in the car, and I'm like, man, get me home. I got a four o'clock morning. I got to get up. It's going to be a hard day. It's hot. Wasn't it hot this week? I mean hot. We get in the car, and Ben says, I'm hungry. I'm thinking, oh, no. That's, I live by my watch, you know. That's 30 minutes, at least, when you eat. 30 minutes is like forever for me. That's a long time. I could write four sermons in 30 minutes. Anyway, or less, if God's willing. So we pull into this place. I call ahead, and I say, y'all open? I mean, we're out in the middle of nowhere, right? Y'all open? Yeah, we'll, we'll stay open until 8 o'clock. We're, it's 10 to 8. We'll be there. Keep the grill on. We're hungry. We pull in there, and we're the only ones there. I mean, there ain't nobody there except me, Ben, Jim, and the gal that works there. We go in. We're sitting there. I look across the deal, and that gal was begging for hope. Begging for hope. Jim, wasn't she begging for hope? Begging for hope. Just we ordered our food, and she brings out, and she dropped mine. Anyway, but I eat fast. I still beat them. I eat fast because i I got to live by my clock. Come on. How do we activate hope? We look up to him and have a sense of God loves him. So finally, I just told her, I said, ma'am, can I come around the other side of that bar and hug your neck and tell you I love you? She looked at me. Jim looked at me. Ben looked at me. <laughs> Man, I couldn't wait to get over that bar. I hugged her hard. She hugged me back hard, and I said, I love you. God loves you. Whispered it in her ear, and man, she hugged me even harder. You know, her husband just died, and I knew him. And she didn't know I knew. And he didn't die a very healthy way. It wasn't very good. You know, we got to activate hope in people's lives. Man, I, I stayed up all night and prayed for her. I told her I loved her, and Jesus loves her. She goes, Billy, you don't know what I've done. I said, yeah, I do. I know you. I know you. You know me? Yeah, I know you. I've heard all the stories. I know where you've been and what you do. I love you. Man, we left there, and Jim and Ben didn't say worth about 10 minutes. <laughs> I looked back at Ben. I said, Ben, that's what you got to do next time. It's your turn. He said, I ain't never going with you again. Anyway. Anyway. 